Welcome to the York County High School Art Show. Uh, my name is Joe Stinnick, and I'll be one of your uh, MCs tonight. Um, and beside me is Brad Savelli, who will be my co-MC. Uh, I happen to be the uh, vice president of uh, Craig, which is the top of uh, River Art Guild. And Brad here is the president of Craig. This show is indeed a collaboration because it involves three different organizations, first of all. <coughs> it involves the York County Arts Council, which of course is the housing for the house, the housing area for, for the show and, and a lot of other activities from the year. The other organization involved is CRAG, which stands for the Catawba River Art Guild. And um, they're the sponsors, or we are the sponsors of the show, and have been for a number of years. <coughs> and the third organization is <coughs> no longer in, in existence, actually. It's YAG, all these letters, right? Yorkville Artist Guild, because Yorkville Artist Guild, which existed here in York County for about four years, disbanded oh, four or five years ago. But fortunately, we had some money left over so we gave it to the York County Art Guild so that we could continue the show. This is our 12th year for the show, and I've been involved in it for the entire 12 years, and I'm, I'm proud to, 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 to have done that. Uh, first of all, I want to give a few thanks. Thank you before we get into the nitty gritty of the, of the evening. I want to thank uh, Mike Gentry, who the gallery manager. He's here somewhere running around. He's in charge of, uh, you know, preparing the walls, and preparing the, the show, hanging the shows, and uh, making the labels, etc. And very often, we don't know what that etc. is, but very often involves a lot of work. The other person to be thanked is Jessica Calloway. I think she's walking around here somewhere. Jessica, where are you? Jessica has, over here. Jessica, Jessica has been our liaison teacher for this uh, show for 12 years. Right? Right, Jessica? Uh, and um, then, of course, we need to uh, thank wholeheartedly, we need to thank Deborah Hines, uh, who is the executive director of, uh, of, of the York County Art Council. I think she's probably running around doing something else oh. uh, for a Christmas bill. Because you know, at 7 o'clock, the Christmas bill will have its uh, grand opening. Uh, and at this point, I want to turn it over to Brad, because he wants to talk about, about the uh, judging of the show, right? <coughs> and who are the judges? So uh, we have uh, Sandy, Jack, and myself. These are former people of the North Bill. Art Guild, who are very distinguished artists, um, and, and myself. Um, and our backgrounds are very diverse. You know, I have my doctorate in fine arts and a professor at George Washington University of Design, Art and Theater. These folks do all kinds of everything from watercolor to acrylics to whatever. So there is a really a diverse group of individuals who are here who do the judging. Um, and uh, before I even go further, I think there is a distinguished person here. Uh, is Senator Mike Fanning here by any chance? I think he's here somewhere, but you actually have a state senator down here looking at all the artwork, and that is. Um, so he's here, he's here at some point, somewhere. Uh, but anyway, the judging every year gets complicated. This is my third, fourth year for me, I do believe. And uh, every time we come together as a group, we never know what we're going to come as a come to a resolution. But one thing that all every single year we've come to the same resolution on the best of the show. We don't even share notes, and we come up with the same person. This year, that's as far as we got. So usually, our judging we're really good in thirty minutes. It was an hour and fifty minutes. And we were like debating. I don't know about this. I don't know about that. Well. One of the most important factors, and I always say this, every year 
the high school art teachers raise the bar in terms of what they want their students to produce. So the hidden talent is really in the skills of the educators who are getting all these students, getting them on the right track to generate the art that is really beautiful, it's prolific, it's everywhere. It's, it's a very, it's a wonderful thing to see. Um, <clears throat> the other thing, in terms of designing uh, an idea, and I say this every year, that artwork, if it's a photograph, if it's a painting, uh, if it's a piece of sculpture, it has to speak to us, or speak to me, or speak to you. So if it tells a story, you got it made. All of these tell some stories. All of them deal with certain levels of composition. And so I know that the art teachers in the room right now uh, certainly are teaching the correct uh, fundamentals of design, fundamentals of composition, and the elements of design. That's very important. So bravo to the teachers in the room. And hopefully we'll get them to come up and you can see who those teachers are at all the various competing high schools. Again, this was difficult. We finally came to a resolution. We now know who won and how that was happening. It took us an hour and 50 minutes or so to come to that conclusion. Um, so everybody is to be proud. Everybody's a winner. I say that every year because to get your work down here and have your teacher um, guide you in the right direction to have your work exhibited at the Center for the Arts is unique. Um, one of the things I'm hoping for is to get some messages out to the art teachers about having this wonderful talent that's in this room compete and be able to uh, send their work down to Columbia, uh, where we have the, um, the, the, the fair, the, the event that takes place every year. And uh, not one of our high schools were represented this year, and I was down there and I said, this is shocking. We should have our high schools represented statewide. That's the talent that you have here. Believe me, some of you all can blow away all the other talents that I've seen in all the counties and cities um, in this state of South Carolina. So anyway, bravo to the students and bravo to all of those educators. Now, we shall commence. Now we'll cut to the chase. First of all, we'll, uh, we'll begin with the honorary mentions. There are three honorable mentions. Uh, oh, first of all, I need to say that you don't know any, any of these people uh, yet who have won because there aren't any ribbons yet. But after this <coughs> event is over, Mike, the uh, gallery manager, will be placing the members, <laughs> will be, will, will be placing the ribbons appropriately. Okay, there are three honorable mentions, and what we're going to do is have the uh, people who are who are the awardees come forward so everybody will have a chance to take pictures, especially the parents of all those people. Okay, the first honorable mention is a self portrait by Mayor Drucker. Okay, the second honorable mention is another self-portrait by Ethan Johnson. Okay. And the other honorable mention is uh, The Feeling Within by Carolina Preen.
thanks, Lindsay, for starting with the third place uh, winner. The third place winner not only gets a certificate, but also a check for $50. And this is to Anna Newton for Carrie Way. Second place is a student from Catawba Ridge High School, Forest of Feelings by Malaya Hip. <laughs> Along with this presentation, it's a check for $100. There she is. <laughs> Hang out here. Hang out. Okay. First place winner is from Rock Hill High School. And the uh, student is Joshua Lynn, Warrior in Me. Okay, well, then we can stay in touch on the show. Now, I need to get some certificates, but a check for $150, $150. Okay, now I'm going back over to Brad because he has a comment or two about the picture show. This year is a very special year. Um, we lost unexpectedly one of our uh, Catawba River Art Guild members who was a lifelong educator in art. I also have taught her some art. Um, and uh, she was such a force um, in, in the teaching systems uh, back up north and down here. So we decided, and there was a contribution for this, uh, the best of show is in memory of Sandra Chuck Steele, who was an educator and artist. Uh, she was a spectacular woman, uh, and she was extremely creative. But you would never know it. You would never know that her dying interest is teach. She refused to never not teach. Even when she retired, she had to go back and teach again. So she was an outstanding personality. And as a member of our guild, we were just completely saddened that we lost her this year. Uh, so with that, uh, I'll make the announcement the best of show in memory of Sandra <coughs> Chuck Stevens, an educator and artist, is uh, goes to Jordan Robinson, Neon, Neon Knights, Rover High School. Not only a certificate, but also a check for $200. So let's have all the We're not done yet because we do have some teachers here. I would like to honor the teachers, have all the teachers come forward who are here, who work so hard with these students, these high school teachers. Um, we have already had two. Any others coming forward? Good. All right, good. Wow. Okay, we have uh, seven schools represented here. We have seven schools represented here and 102 pieces of work. I think these teachers need a big hand. I was once a high school teacher. <laughs> <laughs> So here, so I know what the high school teaching is. I mean, it has its good days and its bad days, and certainly a lot of challenges. So high school teachers need our support, our TLC, and our support, not only financially, but morally, right? So here we go. How about some take How about a hand? Maybe they should introduce them. Yeah, introduce yourself to I don't know all of you. I used to know 
lot of language teachers in the area, but not no art. Okay. Trying to settle at South Point. Okay. Holly Bentley at Nation Four. Jessica Callaway from Catawba Ridge High School. <laughs> Kelly Passmore, Fort Mill High. Luann Lovelace, Clover High School. <laughs> <laughs>